I'll stick with you, Nancy Fluin, and this question you can answer in 30 seconds. You have been, you've received what some people feel is the coveted endorsement of the Washington Post. What do you think that does for your campaign as an independent in a county dominated by Democrats? Well, it was a really nice birthday present, I will tell you that. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the Washington Post has has had a long-term vision for uh, Montgomery County. I'm honored that they found that I, I'm the one to lead us forward. Let's talk about the specifics of that, Mark Elvich, and its endorsement of Nancy Florine. The Washington Post called you the county's, quote, foremost opponent of business and growth for more than a decade. How do you respond, and how will you bring jobs and ec economic opportunity to the county? This is a characterization, characterization that has been made of you quite frequently, so I'm going to give you 60 seconds, a minute. Wow. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I've not been the, uh, an outstanding opponent of business. I haven't voted for anything that Nancy hasn't voted for that the business community has been upset about. We have an identical record on upsetting the business community. I have not been a fan of growth without infrastructure. I have not opposed the square footage, for example, in Bethesda. My issue was no transportation, being told it would be 15 to 20 years before the transportation was in balance. People were promised, promised parks. There was a fee that in no way is going to produce the parks that are promised, and there's no solution to schools. And I could go master plan by master plan and show you where the council changed the rules so things pass the tests. That's not what the way I think you go forward. I'm not against bringing development to the county. I'd love to have development in the county, but it's got to come with the infrastructure that's necessary to support it. I think that's what most residents want. That's what I hear from most people. People don't tell me knock down the square footage. They tell me make sure that you can drive here, that they can get their kids to the parks, and make sure there's room in the schools. Robin Ficker, you got 30 seconds. The Washington Post was quite dismissive of you in its editorial, saying that you are better known for heckling at Washington Wizards games. Actually, I think that was when they were, when they had another name. But it also said that you have run for election on many occasions and never won. I know you have run 20 times and you have only won once. What's going to be different this time? 30 seconds. The Washington Post and these two tax increase specialists besides <coughs> opposed term limits. I got term limits through. It got 300,000 votes, 70% of the vote. It won in 253 of 257 precincts. That was a vote for change, not a vote to promote those that have been on the council way too long.